all right y'all what's going on it's combo breaker 99 i am back with another video okay y'all so um this might be a part one to this video because there might be some other points i have to come back on and respond to here because i know what i'm what i what i'm gonna say in this video might you know trigger a few like emotional Whaley fanboys here now i'm not talking about the fans of Whaley. you know i respect for them because i'm a fan of Whaley. but every time i try to call things down the middle it seems like everybody gets emotional or um you know they'll come up with something or they just start you know name calling and this and that like i said so this is addressed to the adults you know and people who have a understanding and knowledge of the fight game you know not just people who are emotionally attached to Zhang Wei Li. all right so with that out of the way shout out to wmma rankings again for posting this text up from an interview that uh, marina rodriguez did with the podcast uh you know she uh really went in depth on um a couple of fights that uh she had to turn down and um I know because some people have brought this up to me before because this is always the excuse that, you know, people always use to me when I give Marina Rodriguez props. They always say, oh, she's a duck. You know, they always say she's a duck. But no, nobody ever really went in on why Marina Rodriguez turned down the Zhang Wei Li fight. Right. Well, it turns out she had turned down the Zhang Wei Li fight, but she also turned down a fight with uh, Jessica Andrade, you know, and um, what she went in about these fights, you know, a little bit more understandable for me. Like I said, you know, you can agree or disagree, but for our Marina Rodriguez, she was offered a fight in Singapore with Zhang Wei Li, but it was a short notice fight. OK, you know, she was offered a short notice fight and, um, you know, it was just a fight that was presented to her last minute. And the UFC said, you know, no, you're going to take this fight right now. So Dana White told her it was all about timing, but she turned it down. And I think that might be one of the reasons why. She might not be in the best light with Dana and, you know, in company because, you know, if you look at making a fight Amanda Lemos now, any other fight like Rose is kind of off the table or even setting up a fight with Zhang Wei Li, you know, on just like a regular time turnaround has never happened. Right. You know, um, everything's just been kind of put on the back burner for her. even like even trying to put her name in there in the in the pot for a, a title shot. Right. All of that against Carla, you know, it's kind of it's kind of just like got to wait right now, you know. And like I said, you know, people always come up. Well, she got the title shot offer, you know, is our interview out where there's a full interview now that I'm going to go through where she just kind of broke it down. And, you know, like I said, as a person that knows fighters and understands fighters, I'm just trying to understand, you know, I'm just trying to, you know, again, put it out there on why she did it. You know, am I calling her a duck? You know, not at all. You know, not in this situation. But this is what she had to say. Again, shout out to WMMA Rankings. Let me go ahead and read through this because it's going to upset a lot of people, right? <laughs> all right. So Marina said on Mondo La Luta podcast, why she denied the Zhang Wei Li fight. All right. She said, I fought Yan Zhanan in March and a month or so passed. And the UFC offered me to fight. Wei Li Zhang in, in Singapore. I didn't even have two whole months to prepare. To fight Wei Li Zhang, a former champion, we want a full camp. We want to be well prepared to put on an excellent fight. So we had to deny it. All right. You heard it right there. Just came off the fight in March with Yan Zhanan and they want to put it right back in there. You don't even get a full camp. Less than a month. You know, what's like she said, I think 40 days. Yeah, like 40 days later, she got to go right back in there against a monster like Zhang Wei Li. Right. And I say monster because that's what she is. And you all know that. Y'all Wei Li fanboys, you know that. So this is a fight that you just can't take on short notice. OK, so, OK, uh, there's a wonderful full training camp. You know, she said we want to be well prepared. It all makes sense. You know, they want to put on excellent fights. So they had to deny it. Makes sense because remember what I said. And this just let you know, like, I'm not you know, trying to just ride somebody's jock or, you know, overhype them. I thought Marina came up a little short in the Yan Zhanan fight. So, you know, they just came off a hard fight right there. You know, they just came off a hard fight with Yan Zhanan in March. And like I said, it's a fight that you could arguably say Yan Zhanan won, you know. So coming off of that fight, which wasn't the best performance or like a great statement maker, I don't think they would want to go in there 40 days later and fight Zhang Wei Li in Singapore. All right. So. This is also what she said. At the time, my coach already had another athlete, Tyler Santos, fighting for the belt, Valentina Shevchenko, right, in the same event. So they wanted to get Marino in there 
to fight instead of Ioana at the time. But yeah, 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 that's what it is. Yeah, because that was a Singapore event. You know, that would have been Tyler Emery. That would have been that would have been nice though. But but again, that was short notice. So, nah, she didn't have to push it. Um, she said so would have been complicated. You know, because yeah, they would have had two fighters in there preparing for you know high level fights. He said he decided to give full attention to this fight for the belt. So we had to pass against uh, Zhang Weili. We said that we would agree to fight her, but it would have to be later on. But then the UFC said, no, we want it for now. So much so that Dana White made a statement saying that timing was everything. All right. OK, so training partners, Tyler and Marina, they could have been on that same car. That was their plan. Put her in there with Zhang Weili in Singapore back in June. But they had to turn it down because Tyler's, you know, their trainer, he wanted to put more focus on the, uh, the, the the championship fight, which makes sense, right? It made sense. It definitely helped for Tyler because, you know, she definitely almost got her got her victory, right? It almost paid off. Um, I don't know, there's some other things going on there now, but that's another story. But as for Marina, you know, she needed full attention as well. So their thing was just to deny it. And, you know, with it being like only less than two months to prepare, that just that wouldn't have been a good look for her. She probably would have rushed and, you know, uh, just just kind of um, went through the motions and missed a lot of things that she needed to work on in the fight. Uh, this is what she said too. given the circumstances we were in at the time. It was the best decision. If I accepted the fight, Zhang Weili, with 40 days of training on the same card with another super fight for our team, I wouldn't deliver a fight that was really worth it, which is to fight Zhang Weili, a complete athlete. And we've already seen it. We've already seen it. Who is actually a former champion and likely future champion. The decision was really the best one to follow. We play the game the UFC wants. And for that, we're, we're, we're willing to bear all the consequences. Okay. Okay. So I do respect that. Look, my thoughts on the situation, let me go ahead and get it out. I, I respect that. I have to respect that because she respects what Zhang Wei Li is. You know, Zhang Wei Li is no slouch. She's not a fighter that you just you go in there and say, I'm going to fly over here to Singapore. Uh, I'm going to take this fighter on and just just boom. It's just going to be like that. You know, she knows what she is. You know, she knows she's a former champion, possibly a future champion. And I respect that. Now, in that breath, I do believe in the stay ready. I do believe in the stay ready about fighters. But that only comes in like certain circumstances you know what i mean like if you have to stay busy on your way up yeah you know you you have to be on that stay ready because you can get a call for like a title eliminator or you can get you can get a call on a former champion as well like if you are falling down the rank if if somebody's falling down the rankings and you're say number 10 and you're fighting somebody like number seven or eight and they call you right away yeah that's different that's when you really have to be on your stay ready but when you get to a certain level when you start getting up to number three and two those are fights that you really can't take on short notice. Now, what it is, is, you know, the UFC is playing more favoritism because, you know, there's a bigger market with John Whaley. So they're not really thinking about Marina Rodriguez here. So Marina did the right thing to think of herself. You know, I am a fan of John Whaley, but look, Marina's doing right to think of herself in this situation. She's thinking of herself because the UFC was trying to feed her to John Whaley. And she said, hey, I ain't that. I ain't the one. You know, and I respect that. She wanted a full training camp. She wanted to prepare for the fight like anybody else. And that's how it goes, right? If you really want to be a champion, yeah. But they were kind of putting her in that position to be fed to Zhang Wei Li, knowing she just came off that fight in March and, you know, um, making her fight that early. You know, again, it'd been like, wow, you know. So she just wouldn't have had that, um, that time and that energy to prepare for that fight. So I don't know. Um, I respect uh, her stand on that. And, and you know, I, I believe everybody that gets to that level, they deserve time to prepare for a fight. You know, um, John Whaley's always had time to prepare, you know, even leading up to the uh, the first time she fought Jessica Andrade, I believe, you know, it was like a five, almost, you know, five month gap between her last fight to fight Jessica Andrade. You know, um, she got a five month gap in there. And even before she fought Ioana, there's always been like a good five, six month gap there for her to prepare, you know, and, um, that's just how I see it. Like I said, you know, if a fighter really wants to get their chance, you know, they have to um, they have to have that time to prepare. 
you know, see again for the fanboys of Wei Li, they're going to be more one sided on it. And they just want to see her go in there and thrash somebody and, and whoop them. And they don't care what the other fighter looks like. You know what I mean? But for me, I want to see good fights. I don't want to see one side of beat downs just because a fighter came off of, uh, you know, a couple of months of, you know, one month of training and then boom, that's it. You know, I, I want to see a good fight. Um, and then people say, oh, you know, that was her only time. She blew it. Um, man, she didn't have the time. She, she didn't have the time. So that's what it is. But let's look at this Andrade situation, okay? I want to cover that one real quick. So she said this. After this very quick offer, the UFC offered Jessica Andrade. But she's from the same agency as me. And her coach, Master Gilliard, Gilliard Piranha, is my manager. And we had a conversation and we said we fight each other, but for the belt, which is beneficial for both sides. So we deny both fights and it would take time to wait for the belt. It would only be next year because Zhang Wei Li would be uh, would only be later on. OK, so the Andrade fight, they, they have the same team. You know, it's in her mind. It's in it's in her uh, manager and coach's mind to say, you know what, if these two fight, it's going to be for the belt because they, it's a business move for these fighters. Right. You know, I I can see that, but you know, it is also a high risk, low reward too. You know, I can see that part too. You know, like I said, I'm just being real. You know, Andrade is a monster. I mean, if you fighting her and it's not for a belt, there's a big risk you could lose your winning streak and also lose your title opportunity. So I think it kind of goes both ways there. Like, you know, with this fight being so dangerous, it would be beneficial for them to say, okay, we're part of the same company. But at the same time, it's a dangerous fight. So to make it a win-win, let's just make it for the belt, right? So that one, I can see that one, you know, okay, you know, that, yeah, that that's not a fight you want to take, especially if it ain't close anywhere near close to belt. But, um, yeah, she said, you know, she's willing to wait now. And when the, when the opportunity comes after Sean Whaley fights Carla, if Carla, be, if, you know, if Whaley beats Carla, she'll want to fight her down the line. So I guess she has no problem with waiting. But in the meantime, she's got another task at hand against Amanda, Amanda Lemos. And, you know, that fight is also kind of like the Andrade fight. Uh, high risk, low reward because she's ranked below her. But, you know, the chances are still a little bit better than Jessica Andrade, you know. But um, that's just what it is, guys. Like I said, I'm just trying to look at it from the p fighter's perspective. And, you know, for me, I don't think that fighting Wei Li on, you know, just a, uh, what, less than, you know, what she say uh hold on here let me pull it up again 40 days of training you know that's that's not really going to cut it for it. you know they need a full training camp like she said like she prepares for everybody else and that's how it is you know that's just how it is so she's willing to wait she's willing to wait but i just respect the fact that she you know you know she wasn't going to just let them feed her to to way elite you know respect to her for that that's her choice uh guys y'all can go in on her all you want but hey it's part of the game let me know what y'all think in the comment section about it. Like I said, we'll definitely talk about it again. Um, so I might call this a part one, but if I talk about it in the live, you know, we'll go in. We'll go in. But those are my thoughts. Combo Breaker 99, I'm out. Subscribe. Peace.